My day started with a 5 a.m. wake up call. I was out of bed by 5.15 and needed to get TV ready in exactly 30 minutes for a segment I was doing with a local news channel. Once my makeup was on, I was out the door with a big cup of coffee and arrived to the Welcome Center right before 6. The photographer and I met before our segment and we were live at 6.45 with one of our large snow sculptures. Shortly after our segment, I lined up a few other local businesses and professional carvers for their segments on live TV. I was back to the office at 8 to check in all of our ice carvers. They turned in their paperwork and received their ice block location at this time. By 8.45, they were all checked in and carving ice along the streets of downtown Sturgeon Bay. About an hour later, it was picture time. I walked to all the sculptures for photos of carvers, visitors, and the ice. Back at the office by noon, it was time to prep our ice carver judges. All amateur carvers are eligible to win a prize in three different categories, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Our judges were out the door by 12.45 and I was too. I was going to grab more photos and check in on the ice carvers and their progress. Little did I know that a small snowstorm would be rolling in. By 2.30, myself and the judges were back at the Welcome Center. Local press was notified of the winner shortly after. We were preparing for our award ceremony at 3. By 3.30, our award ceremony was over and I was exhausted, but the day was only about halfway over at this point. I arrived home and had about an hour to get ready for the gala, so I snapped a quick selfie and got to work. By 4.55, we were ready to go. I snapped a few more selfies before I got rudely photobombed. We walked into the ballroom and we were amazed. Our talented group of designers from Bliss had transformed the ballroom and it was so magical. We snapped a few more photos before everyone arrived and the room filled. I was on photo duty for cocktail hour and grabbed a few candid shots of some attendees and mingled with local business owners. After dinner and our live auction were over, it was back to work, closing out silent auction items and helping guests organize their new prizes. Around 11 p.m., I couldn't do it anymore and changed out of my heels and into slippers. I know, not a great look, but at this point, I was desperate. As the night wore on, I started to fade. At 11.30, I took another 30-second nap and had a quick snack. By 11.50, we were able to hit the dance floor to watch our band FBI and the Untouchable Horns close out the show. This was by far my favorite part of the night. I was back home with my makeup off and ready for bed by 1 a.m. I couldn't believe that the day was already over, but I was so happy to see my bed. It was a busy day, but a memorable and rewarding one. Thank you to everyone who helped us make Fire and Ice 2020 a success.